Hello and welcome back to Everything Gaming and today you've joined me for another Forzathon guide. Now this is where I show you guys how to complete this week's Forzathon as quickly and as easily as possible. Now this week's one is fairly easy, it's called Kettle of Fish and it wants you to use any cult car of your choice to complete the challenges. So first of all you're going to go into your car and press Y to filter and just filter through the cult cars that you own. Now you can do the same in the auto show if you don't own any and you can buy one but I'm sure you guys have plenty. Now I use the Volkswagen Type 3 1600L to complete these challenges but you can use whichever one you want. I would definitely recommend putting a tune on your car as you can see I've got one here called 241 mile an hour unfortunately there was no share code it was a weird glitch um, but that's it if you want to download it now the first challenge here just wants you to get a skill score of 500,000 points which is quite easy but it can be quite time consuming but first of all I recommend going into your car's car mastery or the skill tree and buying out as many of the skill tree perks as you can afford one that I would definitely recommend is called extra life is the one that basically means you can smash into stuff uh, like heavy solid objects and not lose your skill chain now to complete this challenge i head over to the greendale airstrip which i'm sure as you guys know is where i always go to try and do the skill score challenges and it's super super easy to do and it's quite fun actually all you have to do is drive around like a hooligan for ages and ages until you get the desired score now you can drift and smash into stuff, get air skills, get speed skills, drift taps, whatever, it doesn't matter. For this challenge, obviously you want to get 500,000 points, so you've just got to get your total up to 100,000 multiplied by 5. Now I must add that you don't actually have to do this in one shot, you can do it over the course of a weekend or a week, it's entirely down to yourself. Now the next challenge here just wants you to win a race at the White Horse Dirt Series event. Now this is located just here to the left of the Mud Kickers Adventure Park uh, and it's you know it's quite an easy challenge yet again as you can imagine i've already created a race for you guys to use it's called 10 seconds this one does have a share code and it's 287360426 and that's available for you guys to use so hopefully this should get the challenge over and done with pretty quick as you can imagine i've sent the ai off onto their own little trip beneath the bridge to meet the trolls and that just leaves a straight shot to the finish line for you guys you can do it on whatever difficulty you want it doesn't matter it's just a forzathon event and that's that challenge over and done with now for the final one which wants you to earn 10 daredevil skills now as it says there basically to get daredevil skills you must basically chain together loads of near miss skills so you want to get a minimum of about three near miss skills in quick succession and it will pop up with a daredevil skill so it is pretty easy but i would again recommend having a tuned card to do this uh, and i'll tell you why in a minute first of all though i would recommend going into horizon solo uh, as there is more ai cars on the road as i will show you in a second and then i recommend heaven heading over to the motorway uh, because there's a higher population of AI cars on the motorway for you to get your near miss skills now the reason that I recommend having a tuned car to do this challenge is because sometimes the cars are few and far between so you need to go as quickly as possible to catch up to the next one before your skill train just, your skill chain just sort of stops uh, or breaks and then of course if you've got already at that point two near miss skills if you don't get the third one you miss out on a daredevil skill so it's always good to be driving at speed but you can be doing it at 80 mile an hour really and truly it doesn't matter now as i mentioned and as you can see here this is why i recommend going on to solo mode because lots of ai cars can spawn for you uh, especially on the motorway which makes this challenge a bit easier and as said before the daredevil skill is lots of near miss skills in very quick succession now hopefully this guide has helped you out but if you are struggling with anything please do let me know, just say so down in, below in the comments and I'll help you out as best as possible. Apart from that folks, I want to say a massive thank you for everyone's support. I hope you're all taking care. Uh, if you did like this video and you're new to the channel, subscribing would massively help me out uh, and dropping a like also helps. But apart from that folks, I want to wish you all the best. Make sure you stay safe and don't forget to take care.